Hi, welcome to BTBS. It is Jay. Today, I will show you how to deploy OpenShift version 4 by Ansible script. As you remember, I already explained how to deploy OpenShift version 4 with version 0.7 OpenShift installer. However, OpenShift installer 0.14 is released. So I think it is a good timing to show you again. Mainly, there are three steps. First, build OpenShift installer. From installer 0.8, libvirt is not shown with a released binary from GitHub. So you should build it by yourself. However, it is built by Golang. If you don't know how to use Golang, how to build Golang language, you don't worry about that. I already have the video to build OpenShift installer by Ansible. So if you don't know the way, please watch this video. And second, config KVM on Fedora 28. There are several ways to meet the DNS requirement for OpenShift installer. I am using DNS Masquerade managed by Network Manager. However, if you want to use other tools, such as bind server, core DNS, it is up to you. However, if you want to follow my way, I also have a video to show you how to configure KVM by Ansible. So, if you don't know the way, please watch this video. Third, deploying OCP4. Today, I will focusing on this topic. Let's begin. This is Fedora host. So first, I will go to bin folder that has OpenShift installer. So OpenShift installer version is 0 0.14 so we are ready to go before we create cluster we need to customize ingress domain name because there is a bug we need to use workaround I will choose my public key and lip but and enter and TT testing and OCP4. Then you need to copy secret from try.openshift.com. You need to copy the script from here. Click. Then paste here. Then enter. So the manifest, the files generated. So go to OCP4 manifest then there is ingress cluster ingress config file and here I need to delete OCP4 here okay so we are ready to deploy that's it we will create it That's it. We can log in the cluster. First, we need to export Kube config. Then, we will log in with a Kube admin user. Okay, we are in. And let's go to OpenShift console. and also log in to web console. We will use Kube admin user and you can copy the password. Then you are in. So let's see cluster 
the version. OpenShift version 4 is deployed on KVM and it works fine. You can play with it now. Thank you.